the office. <laughs> um, thank you very much. It's, it's, um, for those of you who don't feel the same way I do, uh, it's a very emotional moment to take delivery of a vessel like this um, and to see it come to life. Um, Laurent asked earlier, he said he thought we were at 99% and he questioned whether uh, we appreciated all that had been done as much as he had and how did we react to it. Um, and I am one who believes that words are, sorry, that words are not as important as actions. Um, and I think we demonstrated our actions very easily early this morning. We showed our appreciation. We said um, uh, thank you in a fairly tangible way. We actually said it a billion times. Each one was one euro. And, um, this has been a truly amazing journey. And I hope all of you take as much pride and I, and by all of you, I mean um, all of the people from STX, all of the people representing the local and the national government, and of course, all the Royal Caribbean family take pride in walking around um, this vessel. Um, I, I, I always get a bit of a problem when people talk about the fact that it is the largest cruise ship in the world. And um, when we do, we always get a lot of press, so I will say that it is the largest cruise ship in the world. <laughs> but we never set out to build just the largest cruise ship in the world. We set out to build the best cruise ship in the world. And I think they have done that. They have done that magnificently. I would congratulate all the people that were involved in that. I would thank um, the shipyard. I would thank uh, Laurent Castin, Jean-Yves Jouin, who is, here's, there he is, um, uh, who was slow and late and expensive, but uh, <laughs> can't help reminding him of that. Um, I would also thank all the shipyard workers who, it's very clear, put not only their effort into this, but their heart and their soul. Um, I would thank Harry Kulavara and his team. Um, you've heard me say that Harry Kulavara is a genius, what it, uh, and uh, it's true. It's too bad he has to be an evil genius, but he is a genius nevertheless. But when you look around the ship and you see how spectacularly it is, and how it, we keep learning. So um, Laurent said he had new ideas for the future. Uh, together, we have made some truly amazing music. It really has been spectacular to see the very strong partnership. And he mentioned a couple of the things. Uh, he, he mentioned, for example, that this is the, this ship will go faster. Um, it's also very important to understand that that means that at the same speed, because we don't actually want to go faster, at the same speed, we use less energy. And so that's also very important that we be a strong supporter of the environment as we go forward. And so the Royal Caribbean fleet is 10 to 15 percent more energy efficient um, than our competition's fleet. And that's because of the care and effort that goes into every step of making it fuel efficient, energy efficient, so that we use less greenhouse gases, so that we're better for the environment. This is also um, the 16th ship in the Royal Caribbean family of ships that um, has zero to landfill. So everything that we bring onto the ship is either reused, which is the best possibility, recycled, um, or incinerated. Nothing goes back to fill the landfills for future generations. So it's also important that it be um, an efficient ship from an environmental point of view. Um, 
I do want to come back to something that Laurent said, just a little bit of the history, because the drama